What's up guys, my name's Tony and I'm from the Outsider MTV channel. I know, who the hell is this guy? You could subscribe to my channel in the link below and at the end of the video. We're here to review a new kit. So it's the versatile kit from Fox. I picked this kit specifically because here in SoCal, believe it or not, we do have a winner. Hour and a half north, we've got a bike park called Sky Park. It's one of my favorite bike parks. We're gonna catch them in between snowstorms to get some on the trail first impressions on the first day I rode in this kit. This kit also I think blends well for our early morning rides here like at Laguna on the shoreline where it gets pretty cool and cold. Most reviews are pretty freaking boring, right? You don't wanna sit here and have me talk about clothes for the next 15 minutes. Forget that. We're gonna split this thing up into three parts. First, on the trail, first impressions, the first time I rode the kit, you get to see some of Sky Park's rad trails and you get to hear me talk about what I think of these pieces right off the bat. From there, when I break down into a tech spec section, and then we're gonna meet back here. I'm gonna round things out with my review, overall opinions on what I thought of these pieces over the last few months of me riding in them. Timestamps are gonna be right after the intro so you can get to each bit. And with that, I'm gonna shut the hell up because this video is not about me talking for 15 minutes. Let's get on the trail for some first impressions. All right, first pedal up at Sky Park. It's about 40 degrees right now. As I climb up, nothing's cold. <laughs> and that's a good sign because I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. Comfortable right off the bat. First time I'm using the thermal jersey with the hood up underneath my full face. And that worked really well because the material is very thin and it's tight on your head. So when you put the full face over it, there's not like this extra space that has to clear. All right, sleigh ride. Great warm up run. One of my favorites to do here when we, when I get here just to warm up. Nice flowy trail and awesome trail. To get your suspension tuned in and great trail to get some first impressions on the apparel. So right off the bat, this is the first time I'm wearing the Defend gloves. Keeping my fingers toasty for sure. I'm used to wearing the Fox Flex Air gloves, which are very minimal. Obviously with the Defend gloves, I'm feeling a little bit more material to keep me warm, but the grip is still there. I guess I would say it just feels different in a way that you'd expect them to. You don't put on a jacket and expect it to feel like a t-shirt. Know what I mean? It's winter. Fun Burmy turns here. The dirt's great because the snow just melted from last week's storm. All right, let's set up Arrow, one of Sky Park's black trails. Some wood features, some jumps, good stuff. And let's talk about the fit. So the pants I have, the Flex Airs are 34. And they have a ratchet system, which makes it awesome because you don't have to fit an exact size into it. 34, 33, 35, I think even 36, you should be good. And I was concerned about the ratchet because it's plastic and it looks like it lies against your stomach when you're climbing but it doesn't pinch and uh, I don't feel it on the climb at all. Give me a break while I take that wall right in. And they're feeling very comfortable so far. Up, coming down. All right, moving on from the pants into the jersey. Also, we're on Comet now, one of Sky Park's double black trails. One of the most natural trails they have, I'd say. Feels like a rad downhill trail you'd find in the woods. Woo! Missing that snow. For my riding gear, I like to wear things a little bit more loose. So, if you are familiar with Fox's Ranger series, usually wear large in that. But the other stuff, it's a little bit more tight. I try to go for a little extra large, get a little more room. I probably could have fit into a large, but I like having the room when I ride and feeling unrestricted. And these pants and jersey are stretchy wicking the pants i thought i might even be a little bit cold today because of the flexor models but 
and proven otherwise. And if it's not already a given, let me point out the pants are made so that you can put knee pads underneath, which I'm wearing right now. All good? All good. Send it, send it, send it, send it. <laughs> And the jersey, I didn't realize. I could fit some pants. I could fit some pads right underneath the jersey as well because there's wider areas in the middle of the sleeves. So that's good to know because sometimes you want to get a little bit rowdier than you plan on getting. I don't think I've ever talked in detail on how my clothes fit and feel on a downhill descent. Okay, so let's start off with the Flex Air pants that I was sent in olive green. I'm doing a thing here. Get out of here. And it comes with a durable water resistant finish that sheds moisture, dirt, and debris. As you can see right here. Dude. Come on. Very seamless up and down zipper. Smooth as butter. The ratchet closure provides a secure fit and quick on-the-fly adjustments. And the pants come with an always stretch fabric for increased mobility. The tapered lower leg reduces snag and drag, as you can see right here. Nothing's getting up in there, Ooh. except that guy. And the fabric is made out of 88% polyamide nylon with 12% elastane. I don't know what that means, but hey, it feels good on your skin, it's light, and I'm not gonna look it up because, hey, I agree with it, it felt good in the trail. So, I'm gonna go with that. The fabrics also move sweat away from the body to keep you dry. And that's great in wet and cold conditions. We can all agree with that. A Defend Thermo Hooded Jersey in all black. The Polar Tech Power Grid provides lightweight moisture wicking insulation. It's hard to say. It's 93% polyester and 7% spandex, which I liked about that because I love that stretch. And that polyester really helps with the moisture wicking in cold and warm conditions. And has a pretty cool zippered stash pocket on the back hip. It's very convenient if you don't want to carry a pack or at the bike park, what have you. Put your stuff in there. Nice little flap and it's out of the way, behind you. It comes with an abrasion resistant wind blocking fabric that helps keep you warm while descending. The form fitting hood goes right underneath your helmet. I really like that. I talked about that a little bit already. Round out this versatile kit, we've got the Defend Pro Fire Glove. Longer compression molded cuff for a secure fit that keeps the elements out and a conductive thread at the index finger and thumb for touchscreen compatibility. So this is basically Fox's warm glove. This is designed to keep you warm on long winter rides. It comes with an axe suede slim fleece waterproof palm to keep your hands dry and warm. Water repellent finish that sheds moisture, dirt, and debris. And finally, where the warmth comes from, the three layer soft shell fabric, which I can vouch for, definitely kept my hands nice and toasty. And for the review, every time I sit down, this just blares, like I swear the sun just moves into my face wherever I go. Give me a minute. For the review, this kit I've been riding in about three months now. I've been riding up in the mountains, as you saw in Sky Park. I've hit off some early morning rides here in Laguna. It's a versatile kit. Is it versatile? Yes. Yes, it is. I would say that the Thermo Hooded Jersey was well suited for early morning rides. Never felt really cold wearing that thing. And the awesome thing about the Thermo Hooded Jersey is a little bit of a bonus. If you're not using it over your helmet, the hood sits as like a turtleneck on your neck. So it cuts out the wind and everything from this whole area, keeps the warmth in from escaping, something I've never worn before on the trail. And uh, it's the little things, like that made a difference when I wasn't wearing the hood over my helmet. The gloves I didn't wear as much as the other two pieces, and that's because down here in Southern California, these are a little bit too warm for the conditions here. But that's not a negative thing. These these gloves aren't made for, you know, 50 degree weather. They're made for, for chilly stuff. So when I was riding in the bike park, these kept my fingers nice and toasty. I bring them up every time I go up there now in the winter. The grip was grippy. They're a bit more insulated than the minimalist gloves I usually wear. Like I said in the video, you don't put a winter coat on and expected to feel like a freaking t-shirt it's a winter coat it's a winter glove moving on so the flex air pants probably my favorite piece out of the three i've been riding in these pants non-stop even on uh, warmer rides in the afternoon i didn't feel cold at sky park in 40 degree temps i think wearing knee pads underneath kind of keeps in that warmth when it's cold which adds to the effect on the warmer rides the material is very light and breathable so i never felt overheated in them either in fact i like these pants so much i went out and Bought a second pair in black. I'm gonna sum up this review with one of the things that I think is a major topic when it comes to not only Fox MDB pieces, but any 
company's kits or pieces of apparel, and that is the price. These pieces are pretty expensive, with a total of my whole outlook on this situation, I'd rather buy quality once than crap twice. I'd rather buy quality once than crap twice. I took some diggers, I took an arrow to the knee a couple times out on the trail. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. They cleaned up nice. They didn't leave any stitch marks or uh, no threading that came undone, no holes, nothing. I feel like the pieces were made with good quality. So the pricing that goes along with it, although it hurts, I'm expecting to have these pieces for the seasons to come. Now with the cons, which I didn't really find any cons in these pieces. I will say they're, they're built well, they look good, they fit perfectly. I mean, it's a review, right? You wanna give the good with the bad, but if I'm being honest, the only real con I have, it's the price. And that goes for all MTB gear. So hopefully you enjoyed the format of this vid. And with that, I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel, happily working with Vital MTB today. Thanks for sticking around. New videos every week from both of us. Definitely hit the subscribe button because there's plenty more to come where this came from. Woo! See you guys next week. <laughs>